All right, so today we're gonna be testing out these quantum bearings. DJ Rogers skates for quantum bearings. Ryan Desenzo. The whole shtick about these bearings is that, you know how like top pros skate like bone Swiss or bone Swiss ceramics? And they're like $100 bearings. These people said we can make that quality of bearing and make it half the price. So I think these are like between 40 or 50 bucks, but they're supposed to be as good or better than the top tier bearings that are out there. One thing that's interesting about them is they're diamond finished. I tried to ask them what that meant and they said they couldn't really explain it because it's kind of their secret to manufacturing the, these bearings so precisely and getting like the best finish possible. But what I assume that means is that we got the, the bearings right here. See if I can get one of these out. So what I think that means is that they blast these bearings with diamond dust. As you know, diamonds are the hardest Artist substance and so that gives them the smoothest and most precise finish you possibly can so I've been skating these SKF bearings for almost a year now so yesterday I came and had a session with the old bearings I'm gonna show you those clips and then I'm gonna switch out the bearings and then we're gonna get more clips today and then compare and figure out you know if these bearings are all that they're actually hyped up to be and how that actually affects my skating so Real quick, I gotta say, shout out to uh, Quantum Bearings for being so patient. They sent me these bearings probably like more than six months ago. Normally I switch bearings when I get new wheels, but I haven't been, I haven't switched out my wheels in that long. So I've just been running these super old crusty bearings. These things have seen better days for sure. Okay, let's do a quick spin test. So this is the Quantum. These are the old ones, damn. The SKF stopped really fast. They are old, so obviously it's not a completely fair comparison, but these went for a lot longer. So I'm hoping that helps my skating today because I need all the help I can get. Do not need to be uh, skating on hard mode out here. I gotta say, I really like the look of these bearings. Like they look very high quality and I like the matte finish on them. So I guess now it just comes down to testing them and seeing how they skate.
just got done with the session. I would say conclusively these bearings like are better. I have no complaints. I just feel like my other bearings were like little old, a little crusty, a little crunchy. And so I felt like there was a little bit of resistance to them. These ones, I felt a little resistance at the beginning, but by the end of the session, I feel like they broke in and they loosened up. And yeah, now they're spinning really smooth. I feel like they're probably the best bearings I've ever skated. However, again, I do need to skate them more, you know, in normal weather conditions without the wind. So I can really tell how the bearings are without all the outside factors. But from what I can tell, I mean, just really solid bearings. These are the metallics. So this is what TJ Rogers rides. And then they've got the I think they're called the atoms and I think the metallics are supposed to be more durable for like street skating and the atoms are supposed to be faster but more for like uh, transition skating where you really really need to go fast so I'm excited to try out the atoms as well again thank you appreciate the bearings make every single day a Friday I'll see you guys in the next video peace